The film you've just seen from 1924 showed a game of Find the Queen. Now, what this involved was me uh, asking people to try to find where the Queen was out of the three cards, let's say this one, and then having a look to see what the cards were, the Queen is in the middle, and then showing the person a wrong answer. So a wrong answer here is the seven. And then I'd offer them the chance to change their mind. Of course, if they change their mind, they then win in this case. If they keep with the with the five, they don't win. Uh, so let's have a look at it from a different point of view. Let's say that they chose this one first, which we know now is the queen. I would show a wrong answer, doesn't matter which one, this one will do, and say, do you want to change your mind? And of course, sometimes they'd win, sometimes they'd lose. Your homework is to try to find out whether you should change your mind or whether you should stick or whether it doesn't make any difference at all. So what you need to do is you need to first write about what you think the answer is before doing anything. Uh, write a sentence about a prediction and then do an experiment. It might be with a friend, might be with your parents, might be with someone else. Uh, but you can't do it on your own, obviously, because you know where the queen is. But do an experiment. Um, where you sometimes change your mind, sometimes don't, and see whether it's a better, you have more success changing your mind or more success not changing your mind. For more, for more advanced uh, mathematicians, you could start to look into probabilities, which is the theme of this half term, the first part of this half term scheme of work. So you could tie it in with what you're learning in class and try to explain exactly what is happening rather than just relying on an experiment. This is a two-part homework. After you've handed it in, your teacher will mark it and give you feedback as to what you need to do in the second part.